Becky Edmonton and I've got some great tips for anyone taking part in the British Gas Swim Britain Challenge. Hi everyone, my name is David McNulty. I'm head coach of this British Swimming ITC based at the University of Bath. And today I'm just gonna give you a few tips to help you in your swimming. If you're starting your training, I would definitely try and focus more on technique and then you can build in the speed and endurance and power and everything later on which you've nailed your technique. Body position in swimming uh, is very, very important. It's probably one of the key elements in all four strokes. If the body position or body alignment is slightly off, it means that you could have your head in one position, your hips low and your feet would drag nearly on the bottom. So it's very, very important to keep a nice streamlined position in all of your swimming. Breathing in swimming is very important. You know freestyle is a great training stroke to train on. I like to adopt breathing every three strokes bilaterally. So what I mean by that is just head still and you just breathe with the roll of your shoulder to the side. Three strokes and breathe nicely to the other side and just in line with the breathing of the shoulder. And obviously breaststroke, you just breathe with the stroke and breathe every stroke. A lot of people who come in for public swims always make the mistake of not kicking hard enough and the feet probably maybe it's two foot under the surface of the water. Again, just have a nice strong leg kick that keeps them hips and legs in line with the rest of the body. Very, very important in swimming. What you don't want to be is a swimmer who comes in for a swim and just learns the stroke of keeping that head up all the time. If you wear a swimming cap, a lot of where the swimming cap goes is normally a line where you, you might break the surface of the water. But yeah, just somewhere halfway up the forehead, just nice and relaxed, in line with your shoulder, so you're not looking too far up and too far down, just in line with the body. You know, some people say, where do you put your fingers on freestyle? I like them closed, but not fully closed, because you form a little web effect, and you can probably have them just open very slightly, but not too wide, because the water will slip through. And I like to enter thumb and finger first, nice clean entry, but then you've got to get hold of the water, which is called the catch. And that's when you get hold of the water to start and bring it back, so you move forward. It is very, very important to build up gradually, It'll give you a lot more fitness and it will also help you kind of just feel better within swimming. You'll improve, you'll get faster, you'll get quicker and you'll feel yourself getting a lot stronger the more gradually you go. Most pools have a pace clock so you could time yourself over a 200 metres or four or five lengths and see how fast you go and then try and build on that. And it's just about taking each session as it comes. Don't get too ahead of yourself by setting a crazy goal it's not about making an Olympic team, but it's about just improving to your own progression and enjoying it at the same time. What we see as coaches is, if you say to yourself, kick, glide, pull, that'll help with your timing. So what I mean by that is, you'll kick, you'll glide, and then you'll do your pull. Kick, glide, and then do your pull. Now that's breaststroke timing. If you're coming in three or four times a week, you don't just want to get in and do freestyle all the time, you just need to add different elements. And to add kick into your programme will help the legs, tone up the legs, strengthen the legs, but put variety into your programme. Okay guys, so when I do freestyle kick, I like to get the swimmer to have the goggles on and actually have the head in the pool rather than kicking with the head up. So there's three ways of holding your kickboard. You can hold it at the top, you can hold it at the middle, or more advanced, you can hold it at the end. There is also training cards, which are absolutely brilliant, and I definitely, definitely recommend. It makes your training interesting, it gives you a goal as well, and once you've got that technique sorted, you can build on it, and this is what the training sessions will aid you and help you to do. It'll just give you that target and that marker, and it definitely instead of just plodding up and down it's a bit more interesting if you've got an actual goal and you can work on them technique points that you've just done in them sessions as well all right guys so listen all the very best for your british gas swim britain challenge motivate yourself get healthy along the way get toned up and enjoy yourselves 
I want to wish everyone a huge good luck that has taken part in the British Gas Swim Britain Challenge. Have fun, enjoy it and keep swimming.